Hey guys, Alexandria here, and today I'm going to rank every single eyeshadow palette that I own for you. That's right, I purchased all of these with my own money, and I'm going to rank them for you from the, my least favorite all the way up to my most favorite. Today's video is going to cover numbers 51 through 67, and this will be a series of videos because I have so many. I saw Kelly Gooch do this. She's not the eyeshadow hoarder that I am, so she didn't have as many, but this will be in multiple parts. So make sure you subscribe so you will be able to catch all of the series. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get into it. Please excuse my sick voice, friends. This is my super sexy sick voice. So number 67 is the LA Splash Golden Gatsby Eyeshadow Palette. This one ranks in at number 67, and actually after this video is filmed and all that sort of stuff, is going to actually end up getting decluttered from my collection. I just wasn't crazy about this palette, and I didn't think it was very good, and it is going to be decluttered. Number 66 is the Bad Habit After Party Eyeshadow Palette. That's what this one looks like. This one is getting decluttered also. I wanted to really like this palette. Emily Noel swears by this palette, but I just didn't have that great luck with the eyes. I just didn't have that great a look with the eyeshadow formula on my eyes, and I didn't really think it was that great, so I'm going to probably declutter that one as well. Number 65, the Dose of Colors Snow Angels eyeshadow palette. This was a limited edition eyeshadow palette, and I'm honestly not sure why I bought this in the first place, just kind of knowing my eyeshadow preferences. This doesn't really have any sort of cohesion to it whatsoever, so I don't really know why I thought this was a good buy for me personally, so this one is really just a personal preference. So that is Snow Angels. Number 64, the Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty Visionary Palette. This one is supposed to be a dupe for the Norvina eyeshadow palette. It does a pretty decent job. I just don't find that I reach for the Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty shadows all that much, and they're just one of the less popular ones in my collection. Number 63, the Morphe 350 Matte. This one, I don't even know, do they still make this palette? I'm not sure. So this is the all matte version of the 350 that they created. I like this palette, it's just not something when it's this large and this size that I reach for all that much, and that's why it has earned its ranking. Number 62 is the Everything Nice palette from Too Faced. This has long been discontinued, and it has the eyeshadows as well as the blushes and bronzer. I used to really love this palette a lot. Obviously, they don't make it anymore, and the camera hates me right now, but they obviously don't make this one anymore. It was a fun palette to use when it was relevant, and actually the first th time I realized I liked collecting makeup, so uh, that's where it ranks its number. Number 61 is the Ulta and Melissa Michelle eyeshadow palette. This is also has blush and highlight as well as a lip color that I have no idea where it is. This is a pretty good formula, but it doesn't give me all the feels. I don't really reach for this eyeshadow all that much, and that's why it earned its ranking at number 61. Number 60, the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. All the rest of these I decluttered, but this one I kept around, and that's what this one looks like. It's the greenish golden one. This was my favorite of the ones that she released, but just not my favorite in all of my collection. Number 59, the Blinking Butte and BoxyCharm Electric Eyes Palette. I'm actually not sure if this one still exists either. These are some beautiful foiled shades, and when I reach for this in conjunction with other palettes, I'm really happy with the looks that I create, but in terms of versatility, this one just doesn't have it, so I went ahead and put this one down here. Number 58, the Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette. Are you... There we go. Natasha Denona Mini Lila Eyeshadow Palette. This one just... I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. It just doesn't give me all the feels. So this one ranked lower as well. Number 57, the BH Glam Reflections Gilded. I'm sorry, this palette looks disgusting on the outside because of its shimmery packaging, but this is what the color scheme looks like. The quality is definitely a good one on this formula. I like it quite a bit and I would recommend it, but in terms of the rest of my collection, this one just ranks a little bit lower. That's, that's 
what it is. Number 56, the Winky Lux Coffee Eyeshadow Palette. This one has kind of the uh, Urban Decay Original Naked One palette vibes, and that's what this looks like. I don't know why I'm making it. There we go. Um, so it's a really pretty eyeshadow palette. I mean, it's made in the People's Republic of China, as my husband was nice enough to point out. Um, but it's a pretty good eyeshadow palette. I do like it. And of course, I love coffee. As I drop it. Number 55 is the Bad Habit Beauty Mythos palette. Now, Bad Habit appears to be undergoing some sort of um, rebranding or something right now, so you couldn't get this palette right now, even if you wanted to, but this is what the palette looks like. It's a pretty eyeshadow palette, and there are some interesting colors in it, but just as far as the rest of my eyeshadow palettes go, this just wasn't in the top. Number 54 is the Morphe 25B, so that's what this one Looks like this is obviously one of their 25 pan eyeshadow palettes. The quality and formula on these are really nice. This one is more of your like purpley tones, and I really do enjoy this eyeshadow palette, but again, it just couldn't stack up. Number 53 is the Zodiac Aquarius palette from BH Cosmetics. So that's what this one looks like. It does have a nice variety of blue tones, if that's something that you are into. But unfortunately, this one just doesn't quite hit all the marks for me. It is pretty, for sure, but it just isn't one of my absolute favorites. Number 52 is the Glam Reflections Rosé. That is also filthy looking. Um, and just in case I haven't said this, um, unless... Unless I say I don't like an eyeshadow palette, that means I like it. So everything I have here moving forward I do like and probably would recommend to you uh, based on your makeup preferences, but that's just something to know. This one is the Rosé palette. I really like this one for those pretty mauve tone eyes. Again, the quality on this is really, really nice. This shade right here and this shade right here are two of my favorites in the palette, but really good overall color scheme and I like it a lot. And the last one for this video, number 51, is the Urban Decay Vice 3 eyeshadow palette. Again, this one no longer exists, but I really just love the way that this palette was laid out and coordinated in such a way to make it easy for you to come up with looks. And this was always one of my favorite eyeshadows, the shade in Sonic. I don't know if they make that in full size, but I used to love mixing Sonic and Vanity and Lucky together um, and making a fall eye. <clears throat> So, this is number 51. Okay guys, in this video I thought I'd just share really quickly also the eyeshadow palettes that I won't be ranking because I haven't had enough time with them. One of them being the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory eyeshadow palette from Storybook Cosmetics. <clears throat> also the Glam Ref... No. Also the Magnetic magnifies electric violet edition of the Rimmel palette. The Too Faced Chocolate Gold eyeshadow palette. The ColourPop Soul palette. I am working on a video with this one as we speak. The ColourPop Mar palette. Also working on a video with this as we speak. The Bad Habit Retro Love eyeshadow palette, which is supposed to be a dupe for the uh, ABH, uh, my brain is not working. <laughs> anyway, it's supposed to be an ABH dupe, but actually people say they like this one better. And lastly, the BYS Peach eyeshadow palette. So those are all the palettes that I don't feel like I have enough information on to fully share my thoughts. So I guess that brings my eyeshadow palette total to 74, technically. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today's video, and if you did enjoy this one, I do hope you will give it a thumbs up, as well as here the rain, and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned for the next set of Countdown. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.